What's going on, YouTubers? I'm at a comic shop here in New York City. Wanted to show you some quick statues I saw here. So we got the Batwoman. I'm not sure who the two middle are. I mean, obviously it's Wonder Woman. Uh, I think it's uh, Master of the Universe. And then the new Wonder Woman by Sideshow Collectibles. So Batwoman, let's check her out real quickly. Pretty cool. If you're into Batwoman, uh, I mean, she was recently featured in the CW Arrow Universe crossover. And this actually resembles that costume quite well. So if you're a big fan of that. Next is the new Wonder Woman. So I only own the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman PF. This is definitely better. The face looks much better painted and the costume looks awesome. She's holding her lasso of truth. Got this base, which she's like descending into freaking hell to go fight Hades or something. This is the regular edition. The exclusive has a skirt. Looks awesome though, as you can see. Get that. Uh, yeah, the sculpt looks amazing. Definitely the best comic Wonder Woman statue if you're looking to get one, highly recommend it. It's pretty decent size. Goes for 550 bucks. Definitely great paint job and sculpt. Highly recommend this. Definitely looks amazing. The other ones are okay. The Bat one looks pretty good. Wouldn't necessarily ever buy it. That Wonder Woman looks amazing though. This is Forbidden Planet in New York City. They don't have a ton of statues here. They have a bunch of smaller figures. These all look like Kotobukiya 1, 10, and 1, 9 scale. Pretty sure this Star-Lord is the 1, 10th Iron Studios. Yeah. Looks pretty good. I almost bought that. Looks great though, definitely. Just a quick video. I'll make another one. I'm going to go to another comic shop as well. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Alrighty, everybody. I'm at Midtown Comics in downtown New York. They don't have a ton of statues here. They do have a few on display here. We have the new Batman PF. This is like a companion to the Wonder Woman. She's like, oh, you guys want to learn teamwork yet? Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do He's definitely like super thick, like thick legs, arms, just overall body. Big base. That cape is obviously pretty big. They made it like that. You can pose that. Definitely looks pretty good. I think it's the best comic Batman I've seen. They have tons of little stuff. Nothing. Hugely awesome. Tons of little Kotobukiya. Here we have the Iron Studios Thanos 110th, which I've already made a review on. It's an awesome piece. Here's Ultron Hot Toys. That's a big hot toy. Looks great though. Here we got a Cheetah Premium Format. This is 1 4th. Go, go great with that Wonder Woman that we saw earlier. Love the base. Jungle themed. Got a Deadpool up there. I own that statue. I love it. Another side. Got tons of Kodo Bikia DC collectibles. This was like five minutes from my hotel. I'm going to go to the other one as well. Here we got the Iron Studios 110th Captain America. Yeah, so there's the one tenth Captain America from Infinity War. Likeness is pretty good, good detail, just like all the other one tenths. Water effect in the base looks awesome. He's just pointing. You got figure arts, artifacts. Tons of small stuff. The only big stuff is the three one fourth PF, so and a bunch of hot toys. Ah, uh, here's the one tenth. It. That looks awesome. They have two different versions. This is the normal version. That's just a simple base. It looks great though. There's a Batman cow. That Batman PF is a big statue for sure. This is it for the downtown. There's no other statues outside of this shelf. Tons of comic books. If you're into that type of stuff, which I'm not. 
I'll check out the other Midtown comics probably tomorrow or later today. So we'll see how that one is as well in Times Square. Going to Midtown Comics. This is the supposedly the largest one with actual good statues. See, it's two floors high. Let's enter in and see what we got. Alright everybody, so I'm on the second floor of Midtown Comics here in Times Square. They definitely have way more statues than the other comic shops here in New York City. So let's go ahead and check this out. Here we have Lady Deadpool, the premium format. It's a companion piece to my Deadpool I currently own. Kicking the Deadpool head on the gun, slicing like a rocket. Looks super legit, it's big. It's just like the Deadpool in essence, except for the female version. Next we have Black Cat, seen this before, part of the Spider-Man line. Looks good. Spider Gwen, 16 inch statue. Smaller scale, that looks one fifth. I'm not a huge fan of that face. Next we have the newer Hulk Buster. This is the cheaper one. I think the other Hot Toys version definitely looks better. This looks more plasticky. Next we have Angela, premium format. Next you have Groot comic version. This is a big piece. Definitely great if you're a comic collector for Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's the Hulk of the Avengers assembly line. This is a one fifth scale but as you can see, it's as big as a 1-4 scale statue. It's huge. And this is the new Thor, Breaker of Brimstone. Premium format by Sideshow. This is a big piece. Very dynamic pose. I think it looks phenomenal. Love the base, Surger, the flame effect lunging pose. I think it looks really, really cool. As you can see, it looks really awesome. Definitely highly recommend that. One of the shows better PFs they've come out with lately. Now you have Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. Face looks okay. Not a huge fan of that face. Pose is kind of weird. Not the biggest fan of that. Now you have Boba Fett, PF. So there's that. Generoso and Ray. I own both of these, love them both. You can see my full video reviews if you're interested in looking more in depth with that. Death Trooper, this is more of a companion piece to Generoso. It's a big base. Looks pretty cool, I like it for a uh, piece that looks good. Then Han Solo. Likeness looks better on this than it did on Luke. These are all mixed media premium formats of the Star Wars line. Simple bases look pretty decent. Could be better likeness. I think my Hans or my Harrison Ford statue of Indiana Jones has better likeness. So there's all of those statues and there's more down here. Alright, so here is the Ken by PCS. Seen this before at WonderCon, it looks awesome. Next, you have Lex Luthor. Here we have Harley, Deathstroke, and Joker. One fourth line. Harley looks great. With her pose, she'd go great down low. Now, not too many statues look good from down low, but she definitely would. Deathstroke, I've seen this before. Looks all right. And then Joker from the Nightmare Collection. I think Harley looks the best among those three. Love that PCS Ken statue. I think that looks amazing. If I was more into Street Fighter, I'd definitely get it. This is Alien Space Jockey Maquette. 
believe this is, looks like it's from the movie. I can't even remember the name, but there you have that. Here is the Hot Toys Batman Begins. I'm a much bigger fan of the Dark Knight suit, but if you like this suit, there you have it. Here is DC Superpowers Joker Maquette and Wonder Woman. I believe this is Tweeter Head. One fifth scale. We have the Wonder Woman again, which I already saw next to Cheetah, and they look amazing together. As you can see, the, the way they're posed off like this, it actually works really well. And even the movie version, which I currently own, as you can see, that one is definitely better than that one. Although, because I'm a movie collector, I currently own that one, and I do love Gal Gadot. That comic one looks amazing, though. Of all these, the most impressive would have to go to the Thor PF, the pose, detail, and base. Definitely just, it's a standout piece for sure, and the best piece I've seen so far here in my New York trip. They also have this wall with lots of little figures and toys. They have a few one-tenth scales from here, from Iron Studios. Show you a few. Here we have the Star Lord and Black Panther one-tenth scale. They both look great. Diamond Select, Bowen. Here's another one-tenth. Nakia. Companion, obviously, to the Black Panther. Here is more Iron Studios 110, Ghostbusters, they all combine together. That's really cool. Yeah, tons of these smaller scale, cheaper statues, obviously, for those on the budget. You know, these range from $50 up to a few hundred. Personally, I think Iron Studios 110th line is by far the best when it comes to smaller scale. They just seem to nail the detail much better than the other statues. Like here's some one tenth. See all these Iron Studios. You know, as you can see, they're roughly a hundred dollars each. They all look awesome. Here's more. There's the Wonder Woman, Aquaman. I own that Justice League. Aquaman has a big head though. <laughs> And over here we have some hot toys and some other figures. You can see these different hot toys. Lobo by Sideshow. Star Wars. Hot toys have incredibly good likeness. I just don't like the material use. It's plastic. I hate posing. I'm a much bigger fan of statues. The material tends to just make it look more realistic. Here's the Pennywise again, which we already saw. I think that looks awesome. Smaller figures. This comic shop's definitely the best one I've been to in New York. So if you're a fan of comics, statues, and toys, and you're in New York City, head to Midtown Comics in Times Square. You know, it's right next to the train station, so it's super easy to get. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.